Uh, but actually the inclusivity and the, uh, the positivity that sort of surrounds that space um, is, is amazing and to see sort of young people that are struggling to access mainstream education, struggling to cope with their emotions and their behaviours, uh, to get them down in the park and to be able to sort of uh, pick up a skateboard, pick up a scooter, pick up a BMX, uh, get their head down and just have a go at it, you see a real transformation in young people and it's fantastic. Yeah, no fun at all, thank you very much for coming in. Um, my name's Carl, uh, I'm the Chief Exec of LS10 and my role is day-to-day -day operational lead for the charity as a whole. That's the skate park uh, downstairs. It's also the upstairs of the building which we've got an education space uh, delivering alternative education to young people. We've also got a cafe uh, and we go out and do a lot of community programmes as well. Uh, so yeah, I, I came into the organisation uh, with a merger from what was a previous charity, AIM Education, that we merged with the works uh, back in September 2017 uh, and we obviously uh, went through the process where the works went into liquidation at the start of the year um, and we were the people that basically looked at how it could be taken back up, um, in a positive direction. Uh, so I led a team of volunteers back in January to uh, re-establish uh, an organisation that could lead all the positive aspects of the works uh, moving forward, uh, which meant shrinking the, the delivery of what was being done and having a real sort of fine model of what we wanted to do moving forward. Yeah, of course, so my name's Denham. Uh, I'm the assistant skate park manager and uh, I do a lot of the coaching as well here. So uh, mainly skateboard coaching, uh, but sometimes uh, the odd bit of other wheeled sports as well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, in terms of the kids that we work with, we work with a lot of kids who are quite, quite challenging, I suppose, um, who maybe struggle with mainst mainstream education and, and things like that. And sometimes to see the difference in them when you've got them on a board and got them skating and giving them that that thing where they can develop at their own pace as an individual without having to keep up with anyone else, it makes a, it makes a huge difference to them. So that, that's something that, you know, um, that's really close to me. Uh, in terms of the park itself, uh, I do like the bow, but I like the little, the little barrier we've got there, which is uh, modeled on like the old unibanks. Um, that's great fun to ride, but it's pretty tricky. You know, it's pretty unforgiving, but, uh, but that's been there for quite some time now. It's always fun to have a bit of a session on, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm Keegan, I'm 23, student in Leeds from Nottingham, um, been on off skating like most of my life. Like obviously in any kind of culture you're always going to get, you know, dickheads or people that you don't like, but especially nowadays and, you know, now it's an Olympic sport, people are taking it a bit more seriously. Um, you see more kids getting into it, more girls getting into it. Um, and it's like a way you can express yourself like truly and kind of be who you are, which is, is pretty great, I think. So, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, crazy amount. Even like since I've been in Leeds, so like over the past two or three years, I've just seen so many more girls like walking around with skateboards and stuff. And it's really nice, yeah. It's a real nice kind of community. Yeah, yeah, because they have their girls night every Friday of every month. So I think it's every Friday. Yeah, so that's really good because then you just go there and like, yeah, it's just all girls, which is a really nice environment. Because coming here every week, you just chat to so many people. It's a really nice social thing, and they like have like social events and stuff. And they've got like a girls' skate trip to Barcelona and coming up, and yeah, so it's really good. Yeah. Customers that we have, particularly skateboarders, in, um, as, to the most part, are very supportive of each other. So that's what kind of makes it a good skate park. It's not always, you know, it could be the best park, you know, it could be the best park in the UK, but if the atmosphere isn't there and the people aren't behind it, then it's just, you know, it doesn't have the same feel. Skateboarding's always about the, the community behind it. 
Um, and that's something that you certainly see on the skate nights. Everyone's helping each other out. There's, there's no ego involved or anything like that. Everyone just wants to skate and enjoy themselves. So, so yeah, I think that's one of the things that, uh, that makes it probably the, one of the best in the UK, yeah.